if you actually look on the uh, on the on the valve covers, it's got it's got Turk on the actual valve covers because that was his previously campaign vehicle of Ryan Turk. So Diego Higa, who qualified fourth, will lead a great qualifying position, a very proven car. Now at the at the helm is Diego Higa, this Brazilian driver. Taylor Hull, the Comp Cams, Yellow Speed Racing, Corvette from right here, Sonoya, Georgia. Also, just an FYI, uh, Type S is selling a bunch of products here on site, special formula drift pricing. Of course, you. But this was a big jump, I think, for him to uh, such a high horsepower car. Here we go, Diego Higa will lead Taylor Hull giving chase. I mean, come on, you got. Uh, he's practically wearing a cowboy hat in the cockpit of that Corvette. Diego Higa initiates into that first inside split. Let's see how Higa handles it. Taylor Hull needs to gain some ground here. Higa, oh, he gets a little very disrupted by going off course. He goes in that second outside zone. Taylor Hull does gain some ground with those Kenda tires, ripping up into that second. Oh, and Diego Higa shuts it down. That's going to be an incomplete. You see his hand go out the window. Yeah, that he... will be a massive incomplete there for Diego Higa. A big advantage for the Corvette. I'd be surprised if that car came back out on track, Jared. Yeah. You could tell coming down the hill it didn't have the power that it's supposed to, and that's probably why they called their competition timeout earlier. I imagine the car was uh, having some kind of issue that they tried to fix, and it looks like they did not fix it. Uh, the car's having some issues uh, making power, it looks like. It barely got around this first inside clip, uh, and then coming up the hill you can see the car straighten up quite a bit, and uh, I think it's definitely having a, a mechanical issue that they, they haven't quite fixed. So he doesn't have a competition timeout left, unfortunately. That, that car may be what holds him back from um, competing any longer here in round two. Yeah, I'm looking over at his spotters over here in the spotters tower. They're shaking their heads, frustration. They're wearing it, uh, they're not wearing it well. And you could just see the frustration both with the car on the track and their spotters over here. So unfortunately, with the competition timeout called and then insult to injury it not being a hundred percent so unfortunately looks like Diego Higa he's just gonna rip around that was a restart Jared I don't know something with Taylor Hall because Taylor Hall is the one that controls the restart in this situation uh, being the lead driver the chase can leave early if they want to um, so I don't know what occurred there maybe he he didn't even leave the line so potentially it was because he did not leave when the light went off when he was supposed to uh, typically the restarts could be because he jumped the light, parked on the light, or hit a cone. And if he didn't leave the line at all, it tells me that he didn't leave the line uh, when he was supposed to. All right, so interesting there for Taylor Hall and Diego Higa. Taylor Hall has a major advantage here, that comp cams Corvette. So See, Diego, oh, he's leaving just way early. Taylor's like, whoa, that, that's way early. But that, that, yeah, I think Diego's just going to go for it. Maybe, maybe shake things down and see what's going on. Hopefully, just not 100% on power. All right, so Taylor Hall, as long as he completes the course. Taylor Hall, the cop cams. Corvette gets the win. Your Georgia boy advances on into the top 16. Congratulations to the cop cams, Ken Tire Corvettes. The whole family. It I am on a whole nother level. Girl, he only fought you over cause you let him. Girl, I guess he didn't know any better. Girl, that man didn't show me ever. Do all I can just to show you it's special. Certain it's your love that holds me together. Hey, you say he been killing the vibe. Gotta be